All right guys, welcome back to another monthly favorites video. This is our September favorites where we talk about what we have been loving in September. And honestly, even though we both have been sewing up a storm, neither of us have really tried a lot of new things or really been like over the moon about something this month, which I guess just kind of naturally happens. So we both really struggled to come up with favorites for this month, to be honest. So we decided that we would just do one each mm -hmm. and talk about the one thing that we've loved. And that way it would, you know, still be true to the video in terms of it being an absolute favorite, you know, without us just kind of like forcing it and trying to make up, <laughs> come up with some make up something. So, um, I guess you could look at it as an unfortunate thing that we only have one favorite, but, um, I hope that you'll appreciate the fact that we didn't just like phone it in. Yeah. So, all right. What is your favorite? Your so, September favorite. <laughs> I've talked about this before in some other videos, I believe. I have an obsession with French Terry. I love French Terry. I think I love it so much because I love to feel comfy cozy and I don't know if it's because we live in Charleston and it's so hot so long that when it finally does cool down I'm like oh, I get to wear my cozy comfy clothes. I think it I reminds think so. you of home. Of Maybe it reminds me of home where it's cold most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and then I love the things I do in my comfy co cozy clothes. Like I love taking Piper for a walk or just like mm -hmm. going and sitting outside a coffee shop mm -hmm. and relaxing. I don't know. I just... I'm a pretty chill kind of person, mm -hmm. so I love the things I do in my comfy <laughs> clothes. Um, but I have a new French Terry that I'm really loving. It was just released in Style Maker Fabrics um, Fall Collection, so I got to sew it up as part of the blog tour. I love dots. So dots paired with French Terry. Oh, I also love Greg French Terry. <laughs> it just was perfection for me. So I sewed up the um, paper cut patterns hoodie. You will see it coming up. I'll be doing a full um, blog review on my hoodie and the outfit um, that I made for it. But um, really cute. yeah, when I decided on this fabric and was telling Michelle how much I wanted, I convinced her to go ahead and sell me three extra yards of it. God. Before it was released. Before it was even on the website. <laughs> so I have three more yards of this fabric. I know that sounds crazy. It's a little crazy. But <laughs> I uh, there's just some other things I want to make with it. Here's my reasoning. This, I can't wear this to work. Right. It's a hoodie. Um, so I need to make a top that I can wear to work. So <laughs> I was thinking a bowline top would be really cute. I made that for the last Style Maker Spring mm -hmm. Tour. I really like that pattern. It's like a sweatshirt, but a little more yeah. jazzed up. So yeah. super cute. If I don't make that, Lindsay says I'm only allowed to make one more top, by the way. <laughs> I have um, some French Terry that I also convinced her to go ahead and sell me because it's a perfect match for the dots. Yeah. It's like just perfect. I have a pattern. Um, that the seams wrap around to the front. It's like a twisted seam um, front. I will um, put that in the box below. But I saw um, a top on Pinterest and they did stripes on the front and dots on the back and it was a similar kind of seaming where the, the fabric from the back is drawn to the front so you can see it. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of thinking about that too. So I'm not really sure. If I don't use this for that, then I'll just make some sweatpants or something with it. So I like the use... second shirt idea better than the bowline. Better than the bowline. Yeah, I don't know okay. why, but but I they're do. so perfect together. Well, yeah, I feel yeah. like yeah, they should be made. Yeah, they you're right. That's together. what it is. They should be made together. Yeah. And then this just make perfect sweatpants. Yeah, it would also be really cute out of the um, Butterick dress that I mentioned in our favorite fall patterns video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was torn um, when you ha she helped me decide on this hoodie. As she helps me <laughs> in most things, I was torn between a sweater dress and a hoodie. Yeah, uh, with the hoodie. So a sweater dress would be awesome. Yeah, I basically designed and styled yeah. her entire. Yeah, the outfit came out super cute. I really um, love the athleisure wear yeah. look and the paper cut patterns. They do a really great job of styling their yeah. models. So I kind of copied their whole look. Um, and I down, right down to right down to the sneakers. <laughs> right down to the sneakers. She's like, boy, those sneakers are cute. I'm like, oh, those are yeah, you, sneakers. Yeah, you totally. Yeah, they're very very <laughs> popular. Like lots yeah, of I, people wear them. She's super trendy, so she always knows what's going on. So she told me exactly what they are yeah. within seconds. They're the Adidas. 
superstar mm -hmm. shoes. Um, I went with white, just like the model's wearing. And um, well, Lindsay also helped me decide on white because I can make no decisions on my own. She said it'd be a little more classic. Yes. So I think this could be worn with a lot more. I was actually picturing it with like a shirt dress. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think I could really go with a lot. So, I mean, yes, they are a sneaker and they're a tie up sneaker, but they're leather. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, you can wear those with lots and lots of different things that you would normally say are too dressy right. for sneakers. I think right. nowadays those lines are a little bit blurred, and that's really what athleisure is all mm -hmm. about. Um, it's taking these silhouettes of things that you would normally associate with, like dressy, like dresses, and making them out of comfy, clo mm -hmm. cozy fabrics and pairing them with sneakers. And there you have this whole athleisure trend, which yeah. is which is so fun. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really cute and it really helps identify like a personal style. I think if you can pull off athleisure, you're a cool chick. You know what I mean? <laughs> so well, I hope I can pull it off because I, you can. I got it the whole really outfit cute. in my post. So. Yeah. It's really, really cute. <laughs> yeah. So that's awesome. what I am loving. Well, the thing that I have been really using the most this month, um, and honestly, I really enjoy using is grommets and eyelets. So here is a grommet kit I have. These are really large grommets, but I've also got them on my dress here in the smaller grommets. Um, they really have just, you know, popped up on and ready to wear, I feel like pretty recently. And now you're seeing them in all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. You're seeing them in lace up things. Um, Abby used them for the um, drawstring hole. So instead of doing a buttonhole there for your drawstring on your waist or in a hoodie, you can use them there. Yeah, I hate sewing buttonholes. So this to me is way easier. Yeah, way, way, way easier. Um, I pattern tested a jacket that um, will be released here shortly and it uses um, waist grommets for the drawstring and the waist there. And I don't know if it's just like banging on stuff that <laughs> that makes me really like it but I just think it creates such a nice finished polished look um these that I have these and these all came from Joann's mm -hmm. um they don't have a ton of finishes there mostly gold and yeah. silver um I have tried to source some online but really all you can find are huge quantities I don't need a hundred grommets yeah. yeah I like them but I don't like them that much yeah so um, I'm still trying to find where you can get better finishes in smaller quantities. Um, so when I when I figure that out, I'll update you guys and mm -hmm. um, update the description box. Um, but yeah, I just am having so much fun adding grommets to different things. Another idea I had that I talked about, um, I think it was in one of our plan videos, maybe July plans, yes. um, is a white wrong. shift dress with really big grommets, gold ones just like, this is why I got these particular mm -hmm. grommets, um, like four or six really big grommets. And you don't lace anything through it, you just have the holes in the placket. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's a great, that's a cute idea that I have. Mm -hmm. But um, you can also put them like on hems, if you imagine like a bunch of teeny mm -hmm. tiny little, like mm -hmm. almost like an eyelet. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, there's just like so many fun things that you yeah. can do with grommets that add details to your garment. And I think it really makes it take more like ready to wear. It mm -hmm. takes like your homemade, mm -hmm. like handmade, mm -hmm. and it takes it more to that ready to wear level. Yeah. Yeah, Abby asked if I made this, which is really not something we ask each other very often because I think we just assume mm -hmm. that we made it, but every once in a while, like, something is looks so ready to yeah. wear that you're like, did you make that? So, yeah, yeah, it came out really good. It's a good compliment. Love it. Anyway, so those are our September favorites. Mm -hmm. um, one favorite from each of us. So <laughs> hopefully um, with the whole like, you know, change of the seasons and changeover in patterns and mm -hmm. attitude and fabric and everything, we'll have a lot more favorites for you guys yeah, in October. Be coming up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to us so you don't miss a video and follow us on social media. We are at Inside the Hem everywhere. See you next time, guys. Bye.